So the art trial is really about trying to establish what is the optimum way to do coronary artery bypass grafting in terms of the grafts we put in the heart. So we do about a million bypass operations a year worldwide and the standard operation has remained essentially unchanged over the last 30 or 40 years which is to use one internal mammary artery and two vein grafts. Now what we know from the literature and from angiographic studies is an enormous discrepancy between long-term patency of vein grafts compared to arterial grafts. At arterial, for arterial grafts, it's more than 90% out to 20 years of follow-up. For vein grafts, perfect patency of veins, even at 10 years, is only about 10 to 15%. In the ART trial, therefore, we randomized 3,100 patients to either having one or two mammary arteries, in addition to other vein grafts. And what we found at five years was essentially no difference in outcome in terms of survival or the combination of survival, myocardial infarction or stroke. And this has surprised a lot of people who felt that at five years we might begin to see better outcomes with the bilateral internal mammary arteries. I'm not too despondent at this stage because what I would say is first, today was an interim analysis. The primary outcome of the trial was is 10 years and we designed it to be 10 years because we know that's when we would be much more likely to see a difference. And I think the second possible explanation for what we're seeing is that there was substantially better medical therapy in this trial, the ART trial, than there have been in other trials of PCI versus cabbage. For, it, for example, 90% of patients at five years were on aspirin and statins, three quarters were on ACE inhibitors and beta blockers, and it may well be that this much superior medical therapy is reducing the rate of vein graft failure. I think clinicians in the meantime will stay where they are. There are those who perhaps don't want to face the slight increased technical complexity of bilateral internal mammary artery grafting, but those surgeons like myself who do bilateral mammaries routinely will not be dissuaded because of the very robust evidence bases showing very considerable superiority of these grafts over vein grafts over the long term. This trial, the ART trial, dispels the worries that some had that bilateral mammaries increases mortality and morbidity. The one exception where you have to be careful is in the insulin-dependent diabetic patient who is also has a high BMI, because in this group of patients there was a slight increase from 0.6% to 1.9% in the risk of a sternal wound reconstruction. But if you avoid that cohort of patients, there is no difference in wound complication rates between single and bilateral internal mammary arteries.